In this video, we're going on an historic Covered Bridges tour in Alabama. It's a little cold this morning, but it's beautiful. We are up here in Northern Alabama because it is Andrea's birthday weekend, and it's a little too cold to ride bicycles. And so another thing that Andrea likes besides lighthouses is covered bridges. And so we're gonna go on a covered bridge tour for her birthday. Let's come along. At one time, there were around 80 covered bridges in Alabama, according to a list that I found on Wikipedia, but now less than 20 of those remain. We picked eight of those that we decided we wanted to go see. So after spending the night in Talladega, we drove to our first destination just on the other side of Alpine, Alabama. So our first stop on our Alabama Covered Bridges tour is at the Kaimoga Bridge. And we don't know if we're getting these <laughs> names right. It might be Kimoga, but we're going with Kaimoga. We are in the Kaimoga Grist Mill Park. It's located near Childersburg. Now this bridge dates back to 1861. It's pedestrian only, 105 feet long, and it crosses the Talladega Creek. Let's go check it out. Okay, I don't know if you can see from this camera angle or not in the GoPro, but there's actually dips in the wood from where all the wheels went over. You can kind of see where they've replaced the wood here, a little bit of that, that dip, but it's pretty cool as you're walking across here to see these, these impressions in the wood. Well, that was a lot of fun. That was a beautiful bridge. It was gorgeous. We were there early in the morning. It was freezing cold, but we had a good time. Um, that grist mill and that whole park area, there's a campground, lots to do. That's another adventure for another time. <laughs> so now we're on our way to Oxford to check out another covered bridge. Our second stop, we are at Oxford Lake Park. This is the Coldwater Covered Bridge. Now this is not in its original location, but it is the oldest covered bridge in the state of Alabama. It's really cool. It's also a pedestrian only. It's only 63 feet, another wooden bridge, and it's pretty cool. Well, we're leaving now on what was supposed to be the third bridge of the day. And I, we're a little disappointed because we we're so excited about this one, the Gilliland Reese Covered Bridge, located in Nakalula uh, Falls State Park. And we got there, we saw the falls, that was beautiful. But as we we're trying to make our way down to the bridge, the park was closed. The bridge is inside the park. It's undergoing renovation right now, so it's all closed up. 
So if you plan on doing this Covered Bridges tour, check their website, make sure that one is open first so that you're not disappointed like we are. are so excited. This is one of the highlights of the trip. Alabama has 11 covered bridges. Three of them are right here in Blount County. Every year they have a big festival, the Covered Bridges Festival in October, and this is the first of three. We're at Horton Mill. It is right off the highway. We're, you know, getting our directions <laughs> from Siri. She says, turn left. We turn left and we drop right down into this steep drop right into the bridge. Super excited about this one. It was, um, it dates back to 1934. It is a single lane drive through. You can only go five miles an hour through it. it. Has beautiful lattice work all throughout. It is just gorgeous. We drove through a couple of times and um, really enjoyed it. And then we took a walk through. It, it, uh, it is 70 feet above the water below. And I believe I read that it was um, the highest span over water in the, in, in the entire United States. Could be wrong about that. For, well, for a covered bridge. For a covered bridge, yeah, yeah, for a covered bridge. So we'll post a correction if that's not right, but I think that's what I read. But it's 205 feet long. Um, it's very, it's, it's really cool. I'm excited about this one. So one of the interesting things I read about this bridge, interesting but sad, um, was that in 2007 there were some vandal, there was a lot of vandalism to this bridge. Somebody tried to hook up a flatbed or something, they don't know exactly what happened, and rip out the supports. So it shut down in 2007, but the damage was so bad that it wasn't reopened again until 2013. So, but it's been uh, reinforced, it's safe to drive across, um, and it's just super cool. But check out this lattice. We're on our second stop in Blount County. This is the easily covered bridge. It's only 95 feet, but of the three bridges in Blount County, it's the oldest one uh, dating back to 1927. It's actually one of the ones that's in better shape than all the bridges we've seen today. So it kind of looks and feels like it's gone through a recent restoration. Pretty neat little bridge. the third bridge in Blount County and I think we saved the best for last. This bridge is super cool. It's a Swan Bridge. It spans the Locust Fork River and you can drive all the way across and then up underneath. It was super cool. We were been here for a while getting a lot of good videos and pictures and everything. Super cool. It's 324 feet long. It is the longest um, of all the Alabama historic bridges. It's the longest one at 324 feet and it was uh, dated back to 1933 so another old bridge it is super cool we love this one really cool
morning. We are in Coleman County today, wrapping up the second day of our Alabama Covered Bridges Tour. You know, there's several bridges around here and uh, it's in the winter time. Daylight ends early, so it's a little hard to see them all, especially if you're filming and getting photographs and touring the grounds like we are. This is another beautiful bridge. This is the Clarkson Leg Bridge, and it is the last remaining covered bridge in Coleman County. It dates back to 1904. It's 270 feet long. It's pedestrian only, and it uh, spans the Crooked Creek down below. Uh, when you pull in, there are grounds here that you can check out. The old grist mill is here. Got some boardwalks over the creek. It's super cool. You could walk up underneath the bridge. And again, it's another one of those beautiful lattice bridges. I just love them. So earlier in the video when I said that Alabama had 11 covered bridges, I meant to say 11 historical covered bridges. There are another six covered bridges here in Alabama, and we're in one of them right now. This is the Tannehill Estate Covered Bridge, and it is one of six that is on a list that, should they survive, will be, uh, over the next 10 years, uh, receive their designation as being historical. Now this one that we're in, it was preserved by the Tannehill Valley Estate Neighborhood, and um, that's what it leads into. It's private, it's only about 42 to 45 feet long, uh, and it was uh, built in 1972. It crosses Mill Creek going into that neighborhood, and um, it's really neat. So it's got a section in the middle that you can drive through, and then on each side is a pedestrian. It's really cute, we really like it. Another quaint bridge. Well, this has been a great trip and a wonderful birthday. I am so thankful we got to do this. We've had a great time. The first bridge, Kaimolga, it was just, it was magical. We really loved it. Can't wait to go back there. Um, we hit those pedestrian bridges first, and then that Horton Hill, that was super cool because that was the first one we got to drive across. And then we had the one where we got to go up underneath, drive and walk all around. There's so much to see and do at all of these bridges that we highly recommend doing a covered bridges tour. There's just not enough time to do them all that are in Alabama, but uh, maybe on some of our other adventures, we can stop in here and there and see the rest of them. Thanks for joining Andrea and me on another one of our little adventures. <laughs>